A verdict is expected tonight in the murder trial of a Kansas City woman who was once on the FBI's most wanted list. 26-year-old Shante Henderson admits she shot and killed Deandra Parker, but she says it was self-defense. KMBC 9's Peggy Bright is live with what the judge thinks. Peggy? Well, Larry, and it just came down only moments ago. The judge said not guilty of second-degree murder, but guilty of voluntary manslaughter and guilty of armed criminal action. Shante Henderson said it was him or her. Shante Henderson says she was afraid of 20-year-old DeAndre Parker back on September 2, 2006. They ran into each other at a South Kansas City gas station that afternoon. He was walking out. She was heading in. I glance and at the same time he's looking up. I saw him immediately like in a deep stare, like I'm staring at you right now. We know something's going on. Parker's girlfriend says suddenly Shante Henderson pulled a 40 caliber gun and began firing. Then the girlfriend says Parker tried to drive away. His attempt was too late by the time he realized that he made a choice whether he was going to attempt to try to save me or move the car. And he saved me versus moving the car. Henderson testified it happened the other way around, that Parker started driving at her, then she grabbed her gun. So when I jump backwards, I'm like cornered with an ice machine and just like a corner. So as I jump back and get in that corner, turns the wheel, come towards me again, which gave me no choice but to pull out my gun and start shooting. Now this was a a one day trial. It was held only in front of the judge and he just issues his ruling just moments ago so we're going to be trying to get some reaction from relatives and bring that to you tonight on our news at six we're live at the jackson county courthouse back to you larry peggy bright thank you very much when henderson was placed on the fbi's most wanted list authorities said she was a person of interest in five other murders and a suspect in a dozen other shootings Shantae L. Henderson is an african-american woman convicted felon and alleged kansas city gang leader she is also often called a serial killer due to the fact that there is an FBI news release that named her as a person of interest in up to five homicides. She was acquitted of murder charges, but found guilty of the lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter and armed criminal action. Henderson is currently serving a 17-year sentence and is scheduled to be released in 2027. On September 2, 2006, Henderson shot and killed DeAndre Parker at a gas station in Kansas City, Missouri. Henderson said Parker was attempting to run her over with his truck. She was acquitted of murder charges, but found guilty of the lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter and armed criminal action. Henderson is one of 11 women who have made the FBI's 10 most wanted list. At the time of her arrest she was the lone woman on the list and had only been on the list for 24 hours. A $100,000 reward was offered for her capture which led to her arrest at an apartment building. Police have stated in court documents that Henderson had been identified as a suspect in a series of assaults and murders that had transpired throughout South Kansas City. An FBI news release about Henderson described her as a person of interest in four or five additional homicides and as many as 50 shootings. Despite suspicions of her involvement in these crimes there have been no other charges filed. The Kansas City, Missouri Police Department alleged that Shantae L. Henderson was a leader of the violent 12th Street Gang. They are associated with other gangs in the area from 24th through 27th Street, 51st, and 57th Street. The name of this gang alliance is 512, 5 Ace 2, or 5 Ace Deuce. These claims were never actually substantiated by authorities. Henderson denied being in a gangs or being affiliated with a gang at her trial. Henderson testified at her trial that the gas station was not the first time she saw DeAndre Parker, she actually had known him for many years. In early 2003, Parker had punched her in the face during an altercation about a go-kart. Shantae L. Henderson is without a doubt a tremendously dangerous individual, but it's still disgusting that he laid his hands on a woman. Besides, I don't understand why someone would punch a person in the face over a go-kart. Parker had actually been shot previously, and the rumor circulating was that Shantae Henderson played a part in that shooting. In December of 2003, Parker's brother fired a shotgun at Henderson when she approached him in an attempt to put an end to the rumor. 
The next year in the spring or summer of 2004, Parker almost ran over her with his car as she was walking through a parking lot. Henderson also testified Parker had a reputation for carrying a gun, but she did not notice a gun at the time of the shooting at the gas station. Kansas City woman once on the FBI's most wanted list may be going back to prison. Police arrested Shantae Henderson yesterday after she ran from officers. She was a passenger in a car that police tried pulling over. Once the car stopped, officers say she threw a handgun and a bag of marijuana. She tried to get away. Since Henderson is a convicted felon, she could face federal charges.